you guys. This is our last time leaving the Eglin Air Force Base West Gate. This is it. It's been real. It's been real. It's been so much fun. Oh my gosh, I'm getting goosebumps. This is so crazy. I, I don't think I ever thought that we would leave this base. <laughs> My, being here for so long my career literally grew right here at this gate i spent so many hours working at this gate you got to this base as an a1c yep. and you are leaving as a staff sergeant it's isn't crazy. that crazy yep yeah, it's been real oh wow all right you guys we, we are going to be starting the road trip now and we'll keep you guys up to date I hope you guys can hear me, but we are at a dog park somewhere in Alabama. We are about, I think like 30-ish minutes from Montgomery, and we're at a gas station, and Dallas is just getting to play because they have a dog park, so we're spending about 10 to 15 minutes out here just letting him like use the bathroom and play, and then Mama is in the Jeep. Hopefully you guys can like hear me. Uh, Mama is in the Jeep, she is, in Dallas's like little kennel thing right now. Um, and we like filled up her litter box. So hopefully she'll use the bathroom in the Jeep in her litter box. And then Dallas is already use the bathroom out here. So that's good. And he's getting his exercise. Steven has been driving the whole first leg so far. And then once we get back in the car, I'm gonna take over. Um, but so far the drive hasn't been terrible. I'm going to have to show you guys how we packed the Jeep because Y'all, there is like no room for anything, nothing. Um, so everything is super tight, super crammed, but it's okay. We've driven this drive up north before, like straight all in one day. Um, and this time we're not, we have it split up. So we're stopping about halfway, which is in Tennessee. So super thankful for that. I think we're supposed to get there um, like later tonight around eight o'clock, which is later than we were anticipating, but we left the house later than we were thinking and I'll catch you guys up on all of that when we like get to the hotel room and we're like recuperated and it's quiet and you guys can hear me better but anyways they are playing <laughs> they're playing for now so we're just gonna enjoy the nice weather and let him play for a little bit before we get back on the road Good morning, you guys. It is the next day um, from our road trip. So I think the previous clip that you guys saw was us at the dog park somewhere in Alabama. Um, now we are officially in Tennessee. This is where we stayed for the night. Um, I'm in the bathroom and this lighting, you guys, is impeccable. I will give you guys a really quick like, hotel room tour, but we are about to check out. Um, so we got into Tennessee, I think, a little after... 11 30 last night it was almost midnight and then we got in here dallas mama all of our stuff because i don't think i've even shown you guys the jeep so when we go out there i'll show you guys what the jeep looks like all of our bags and things like that are on top of the jeep on some racks and then dallas mama and some more of our stuff is all on the inside so it's a very very tight fit but i mean we're making it work this is our last leg if anyone is curious, we are in Knoxville, Tennessee, staying at a loft hotels. It is super, super modern, you guys. So this is the front door, and right when you walk in, it is just a super modern feel. Very, very, one thing, very, very nice. So here is the like bathroom sink area, and this was the good lighting I was talking about. It's almost like the ring light lighting. Um, and then back over here is an area where you could hang your clothes, a built-in safe. There's a mama, and I'm sorry about her litter box. Um, this is the bathroom, beautiful shower. And then just the toilet, nothing very exciting. And then back this way, there's another full-length mirror, freaking gorgeous. And then back around here is the bedroom to it. So we had a king size bed loft, super nice, TV. The view is not that great, but I mean, we're not here for the view. And then some super, super modern chairs, very, very nice. There's Dallas, hi, say hi, Dooms. say hi. <laughs> Um, and yeah, you guys, that is the whole room. And then they have like another little chest of drawers down there. Super, super nice. 
All of the furniture is super modern. Let me show you guys the view actually from downstairs because they have a pool. And that's super nice. I like a little outdoor seating area, the pool, another outdoor seating area that um, was like a fire pit. It's pretty nice. And then there's I-75. <laughs> I think we're gonna go ahead and try to go get some breakfast. We're hungry, it is 10.57, so we need to go ahead and get on the road. Maybe we should get lunch. Hit the old dusty trail. <laughs> yeah, um, and I will catch up with you guys later. I swear every time I turn on this camera, I look even crazier and crazier than the time before. Um, but we are stopped right now getting some gas. Steven's out there pumping it. And then um, I wanted to show you guys kind of like our setup. So as, as you can tell around me, this thing is packed. Um, and then back there, here's mama. She's right here on another suitcase. And then back here, oh wait, actually I think you guys can tell. That's Dallas right there. Dallas. Let's see. So he has his own, um, like you can't, you guys can't see it because of the two luggages right here. But he has his giant crate that if you guys, <laughs> if you guys remember Dallas's giant crate that we're going to be shipping him in for the airline, that's back there. So we took it apart, put like put it inside of one another. Um, so like the top is sitting in the bottom and it's back there. So he has his whole crate area to sit in, which is why it's taking up so much room and why we barely have any room back there for anything else. And then the rest of like all of our big duffel bags are on top of the Jeep. So yeah, that's him. He's still standing up so it looks like there's just a black blob, but he's got plenty of room back there. And then mama, I don't really let her sit up there while we're driving because it's really dangerous. But I have this, here let me move this stuff around. I have this pillow right here that I kind of like keep right here next to me and she will sit right here and look out the window. I think I have a picture of her doing that with Steven so I'll insert it right here but it's really cute and she just watches all the cars go by. Um, we just finished eating lunch too. We stopped and ate Wendy's so that's why she's back there because she was chilling the whole time we were eating. Now we're getting gas and getting ready to hop back on the road. Traveling this way is really insane. We know it's not permanent, but like, oh my goodness, we're just like, it's taking us forever. Like, yesterday's trip was only supposed to be, I think, it's seven and a half hours. Knoxville, I think, was seven and a half hours away from Eglin. And we got on the road around noon and we didn't pull into our hotel until 11.30. So we were in the car for like 12 hours yesterday and it was only supposed to take seven and a half, but it's because of all the stops and we're only going, I think about like 60 or 65 miles an hour on the highway because of everything up top. I haven't shown you guys yet. So maybe if we get to Steven's dad's house tonight and it's still light outside, that's a big if. Um, then I can show you guys what everything looks like on top of the Jeep and why we're going so slow. So we're literally going a mile a minute. So that's why everything is taking a lot longer to get to our destination. Steven is being our first driver for today. He just got a bang. Ooh. And we're gonna get back on the road, but I just thought I would update you guys. I can't tell what's wrong or right Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be Somewhere else to set me free I don't know what to do now Need to figure it out but I don't know how I hope the wind will carry me And take me away to where I should be
You doing all right? Yeah. We are stopped to feed Dallas. It is, oh, I have a watch in bed. <laughs> I think it's like almost six o'clock. Let's see the boy. Hello's. See, this is what I was telling you guys when I said that like his kennel was back here, but we had it like inside of each other so that way he has his own section. And this is what he'll be riding in in the airplane when we travel anyways. So he's very much used to it. Can you see mama back there too? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> uh. but yeah, we are stopped. We had to get gas one last time and then um, we're feeding Dallas and we're gonna yep. feed Mama and then it's back on the road for the last two hours. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just wanna sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at these mountains. I'm not used to seeing any of this yet. to sleep um, and then this morning we woke up and we are actually about to meet my mom so my mom lives pretty close Stephen's family is in West Virginia and then my mom you guys know they are still in the military so they are stationed in New Jersey so we met about halfway in Maryland and we are about to go see my mom if you have been on my YouTube channel for a while you guys would know that my parents my whole family surprised me for my birthday back in November while Stephen was deployed so I did see them in November so I kind of just saw them but before that it had been two years before I had seen my family so I am so excited to be seeing them again but we we are pulling into the Starbucks right now to meet them, and I'm so excited. Yeah, I can't. Okay. I can't go there. Oh, I miss you. Sorry, let's go. Okay, I had to put 